checking this stuff out. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello everybody. So today, super exciting, another form of travel. We're actually going on a bullet train. So yeah. it's our first bullet train of the trip. And it's my first bullet train ever. So I'm a little bit excited. I don't think I've ever been on a mode of land transport that's ever gone this fast before. Today we are leaving Shanghai. We're heading to the other side of the country. We're yeah. going to the city of Chengdu. So if you haven't been following our adventure so far, guys, I'm Sally and this is Ed. And this year we set ourselves the challenge to basically try and attempt to travel from Sydney in Australia all the way to London in the UK without getting on a single airplane. And today we're going to be going from Shanghai to Chengdu via the bullet train. In a different way. Unexpected. Today's gonna be a 14 hour train journey. So instead of boring you with 14 hours of us sat on a train, we thought we'd give you some fun train facts. Number one, what was the first train fact? So the bullet train goes over 300 kilometers an hour. That's really, 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 really fast. And actually, you can feel how fast it is because my ears have been popping the whole time we've been on this train. It's just like being on an airplane, but way more fun and with way more space. There are over 25,000 kilometers a bullet train network in China. The longest route on the whole railway runs between Beijing and Shanghai. It's over 1,200 kilometers, and it only takes six hours. Can you hear that? <laughs> oh my goodness. So our bullet train today goes from Shanghai all the way to Chengdu. It takes 13 and a half hours. If you were to fly though, it would only take you three to five hours, but I feel like the train is a way, way better way to travel. So far we've seen so many beautiful mountains and so many beautiful rivers and lakes, and the people here are just so friendly. Yeah, we made it. So 13 and a half hours down, we've arrived. So we left Shanghai at 8.30 this morning. Yeah. Spent 13 and a half hours on the train to get here. Mm -hmm. We're still in the station, but... Uh, we haven't left yet. Yeah. <laughs> we just got here though. On the note of the train though, it was super weird. We were expecting... The train wasn't super weird. It's just that when we got on, it was all sleeper carriages. We were expecting seats. Yeah. And it was sleeper carriages, which was not a bad thing. We were just like, oh. All the bullet trains run during the day. It's um, just no so, sleeper yeah, bullet trains. Yeah, it was trains. really, really a big surprise to find sleeper carriages, yeah. similar to what we traveled from the Ningyu. We don't know why there was actual sleeper carriages. Sleeper carriages, yeah. It was so, really bizarre. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe down below so you can continue following all our adventures as we travel through China. Because next up is a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. We're gonna go see Panda. Yeah. <laughs> so subscribe so you don't miss that because that should be sad for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Night. We'll see you in the next video.